Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how you can protect your Apple devices from the Pegasus spyware. Now I don't know if many of you have been paying attention in the past month or two, but the Pegasus spyware has become a problem for Apple devices. And the challenge is, is that if you're an Apple user, you don't necessarily have to worry about dealing with spyware. So the last news that you want to hear, if you have an Apple device, is that you have been hacked or that your Apple device can be hacked by cyber criminals. And so it leads to make people think that maybe I should get rid of my Apple device. But doesn't necessarily mean the case because cyber criminals are always trying to find ways to get into your personal devices. Now the challenging thing about the Pegasus spyware is that it affects all sorts of Apple devices. So it doesn't matter if you've got an iPhone and trust me folks, the screen is not cracked. It is the screen cover that's cracked. But if you have an iPhone, an Apple watch like I do, and then also uh, your trusty iPad like I do, See if we can get that up there. There we go. Um, you have the peace of mind of knowing that these devices are not hackable, but that's not the case because there's always an instance where a cyber crime or a cyber criminal can find an exploit to any software out there. That's why companies like Apple have what's considered a bug bounty that allows um, users to take part in the bounty to find exploits in specific software. Now, what about this whole Pegasus thing and where does it come from? Well, Pegasus is a spyware created by an Israeli cyber crime or cyber crime prevention company called NSO. Well, the tool Pegasus was designed to infiltrate smartphones without the ability of having the user being tricked to click on a link in order for the software to be installed. And that is probably one of the more scarier things that you can think of when it comes to the Pegasus spyware. Because an old adage that I've said in time in video time after time is that more than 99% of cyber attacks rely on human interaction. So that means up until this point, most cyber criminals would try to trick you in order to click on links in order to get access to your computers and smart devices. So now we've entered a new age of cybercrime where criminals are just able to send you a text message or send you any type of message to your smartphone and the spyware will automatically install onto your device, which makes the whole Pegasus spyware by the NSO group, a pretty scary thing because devices like Apple were thought that they couldn't be penetrated and that Apple did a decent job as far as making sure that your devices are safe and secure for all the cyber crime out there. But we're, like I said, we're in a new age of cyber crime. And so criminals are definitely looking into ways that they can infiltrate your devices without you having to click on links or interact with any messages that come in. So let's take a look at some of the different ways that the Pegasus spyware can definitely enter your phone. So, and here's some of the scary things if you can think about it. So if you look at the vulnerabilities and I'll show with my mouse here, you can uh, have someone send you a photo doesn't matter, an unknown person can just uh, send you a message via iMessage or you can get it through Apple Music. Also, you can get it through WhatsApp or the scary thing if you think about some of this stuff is that if uh, app were to be uploaded to the, to the Apple Store or even let's take a look and look at the uh, App Store, or excuse me, the Google Play Store for Android devices, it's just a matter of downloading an app on your smartphone or your other smart device, which makes it vulnerable to cyber criminals. Now, back to the NSO group, 
The reason this spyware came to light is that NSO released the fact that they had been using their spyware to do surveillance on a lot, a lot of people's devices and information that was recorded, as you can see from the last graphic that I had up, is the software or Pegasus spyware can look at emails, can definitely look at chat messages on your smartphone, can find out where you are located, can look at your list of photos on your iPhone, and then finally, it can look at contacts on your iPhone or iOS related device, meaning your watch and on your iPad. So that's a scary scenario if you think about it as far as how much of a release that cyber criminals can have when it comes to your actual devices. Again, in the past, it required someone to click on a link in order for them to get access to your device or it, in, it involved the installation of keylogger software that would allow criminals to track your keys to figure out what your passwords were. But anyway, it goes back again that this scary piece of spyware doesn't require inter user, any user interaction at all, which means when I do my cybersecurity presentations, I can no longer say that 99% of cybercrime requires user interaction. That statistic may have actually dropped down to 98% or even 90% because criminals are looking at ways always to get into mobile devices. And mobile devices are so important, obviously, because that's what we utilize on a daily basis. People aren't accessing their computers as much and they're relying on their smart devices in order to get access to websites. They're storing more information on your on smart devices so that makes perfect sense that criminals would look into new and improved ways of of getting into your device so amnesty international and um, another uh, media outlet named forbidden stories is the one that leaked the pegasus spyware because they found a report or they found some information showing that Tens of thousands of phone numbers that were that belonged to journalists, activists, and politicians that the NSO group had allowed this Pegasus software to monitor. Now, the list of numbers that they found doesn't necessarily mean that they were spying on all of these people. That means that the group NSO, while not being cyber criminals, were allowing their software to be utilized by other parties or utilizing the software themselves in order to do surveillance on specific people. So if you think about it, if you are a regular individual, you probably don't have to worry about the Pegasus software. But what you need to be concerned about is the simple fact that cyber criminals have upped their game where they can now infiltrate your devices without you having to click on a link to get it to run or you don't even know that the spyware is actually running on your device so I mean that's a pretty darn scary thing in itself so if you think about that I mean it's definitely let you know that um, this is the nature of cybercrime and that is where it's headed now the quick and the dirty of the whole Pegasus uh, spyware thing is now Apple has recently released an update, which is 14.8, which will allow you to download it immediately to make sure that your Apple devices, notice I use that in plural, are immune or cannot be accessed by the Pegasus software. So how do you get that update? Well, Apple users, you really should know at this point how to update your Apple device. But luckily, the tech expert is going to show you a quick tip by connecting my smartphone to my um, computer screen so that you can exactly see how this is done. Now, it may take me a few seconds because it's kind of hard to talk 
and walk and chew bubble gum at the same time, but I'm definitely going to get my smartphone connected to the screen and show you how you can quickly update your iPhone to, um, to the latest version of iOS. So my phone is connected. So let's go to our desktop and oh, there's a picture of my phone. So what you wanna do, and let me go back like an idiot. So what you wanna do is go to settings. So let's go to settings. Once you're in settings on your iPhone, you wanna go down to general, which is right here. And when I say iPhone, I also mean your iPad as well. Once you're on your, and under settings in general, you wanna to go to the section that says software update. Once you're under software update, and as you can see, your boy is slacking, there is the update to iOS 14.8, and it's very vague as to what is going to happen as far as making sure your um, device is up to date. It doesn't say that you're gonna be protected against Pegasus. It just basically says that there are some important security updates. Now that may be true that there's updates with that are coming, gonna come down with the iOS 14.8 update, but at the same time, you may not want to update to this uh, update because you don't know that it's going to protect you from the Pegasus, but it will. So that means that if you see this on your iPhone, you definitely need to do what I'm about to do, which is to click on the download and install option. I'm gonna enter my password, which hopefully none of you will be able to see and then we can get in and start to download the process of the update that will protect my iPhone from Pegasus. Now again, these steps are the same on an iPad um, and you definitely can do the same steps to ensure that your iPhone and your iPad are going to be up, and date, up to date and make sure that you're protected from the uh, Pegasus software. But again, this discussion leads to many things as far as what this means as far as the nature of cybercrime. Because I know there are people here that maybe know users of iPhone devices that may not want to switch to Android, but that does not mean that there isn't going to be a, um, a virus like this that will only affect Android devices. It's probably coming, but at the same time, you definitely need to be aware that now you've got spyware that can just secretly be installed on currently iPhone. So you need to make sure that you're up to date and making sure that you are, are doing steps to keep your iPhone safe and secure. So with that said, if you've got comments or questions, um, leave them in the comment section below. But one of the things that you need to do, I forgot about the watch. How did I forget about the watch? Well, anyway, if you have an iWatch or an Apple Watch like I do, what you definitely need to do is you need, and I can't show it on, um, on the phone, or I guess I can, because there's two ways. We'll do it this way. So way number one for your Apple Watch is to go in to uh, gen settings in general and do software updates on your Apple Watch itself. But you can also do it through your iPhone, which I forgot. How did I forget that important step? So again, the tech expert has to open up the phone, connect my phone to the computer, and then I will definitely show you how those steps are done. So let's click connect my phone to my computer so that I can screenshot and show you exactly how this is done. Because there we go. It took it a second, but let's get to let's get to it. And let's get back to the main screen. So anyway, on an iPhone, you basically want to zip through all of the apps. And I keep doing that. So you want to go to the watch app. So hopefully you saw that. So there's my watch. So then we want to go to general on your watch and then go to software update. And then once you're under software update, it'll scroll, it'll take it a few seconds, but finally it will show the iOS watch 7.62 update or 762 update. And then go to download and install on your Apple watch, enter in the passcode, which none of you can see, hopefully. Let's see if I entered it in right. And then what it'll do 
if your phone is next to your watch, kind of like, let's go back to me and the watch. <laughs> if your phone is next to your watch, then it will go through the steps of making sure that your Apple Watch has got the most recent updates on your phone. Now we'll throw out this quick tip and then we'll close this out. Now if you have an iPad, like I do, your iPad doesn't allow you to connect your Apple Watch too. Apple Watches are specifically for iPhone. So if you just have an Apple Watch and no iPhone, you can definitely use your Apple Watch to update the settings on the watch. But at the same time, Apple Watches pair best with an iPhone. So make sure that you uh, go through if you can and update your watch through your iPhone. So with that said, let's do the closing again. So if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Would love to hear from you to find out if I can help you answer questions about the Pegasus spyware, or let's just talk about cybercrime in general and which direction it's heading. I always have to ask if you're watching this video, whatever you're watching, be sure to subscribe, like it, share it with your friends so that they can enjoy the awesome tech tips that I share on a regular basis and as well as social media make sure that you and I always go the wrong way i know because i'm facing the wrong way of the screen right anyway make sure that you follow myself burton kelso the technology expert on social media as well as my company integral i'm gonna get these get this right one of these days but anyway if you follow us on social media not only do you get the boring computer stuff there's some fun stuff too that we share uh, as far as making sure that you get the most out of the technology you use at home and work. So all, like I always in, I love technology and I read them all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.